मॉर्निंग रिस्पेक्टेड डायरेक्टर सर गुड मॉर्निंग रिस्पेक्टेड डायरेक्टर सर आवर गेस्ट स्पीकर ऑफ द डे डॉक्टर एंड कर्नल के एन चौबे सर डीन सर ऑल दी एचओडीज फैकल्टी मेंबर्स एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई लंकुश मिश्रा चीफ प्रोफेसर आई एम टी कॉलेज ऑफ पॉलिटेक्निक एंड चीफ कोऑर्डिनेटर ईडी सेल वेलकम आवर गेस्ट स्पीकर डॉक्टर एंड कर्नल के एन चौबे सर ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ होल आई एम टी फैमिली फॉर टुडेस सेशन नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस आवर गेस्ट स्पीकर चौबे सर डॉक्टर के एन चौबे सर इज ए ग्रेजुएट इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम मोतीलाल नेहरू नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इलाहाबाद एंड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम डेली टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी न्यू डेली ही हैज एन इंडस्ट्री एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ फिफ्टीन ईयर्स इन मिलिट्री इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेस एंड फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ टीचिंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट ही ऑल्सो होल्ड मास्टर डिग्री इन पर्सनल मैनेजमेंट फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ पुणे एंड ए पी एच डी इन बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन फ्रॉम डिब्रूगढ़ यूनिवर्सिटी आसाम डॉक्टर चौबे हैज बीन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर to the engineering college affiliated to jawahar lal nehru university new delhi and also on staff to the prestigious national defense college of india he has conducted large number of management development for ntpc hail gail eil airport authority of india limited iaa ministry of civil aviation and ministry of defense government of india his internal assignments include a stint at university of leon spain and visit to a government establishment in bhutan he has published nearly a dozen research papers and reviews now i would like to invite colonel chobe sir to start the session over to chobe sir good morning everybody uh, thank you professor lokesh sir for uh, your kind words and uh, i now take the privilege of starting the session uh, in the course of next 30 minutes or so i'll be talking about innovation and entrepreneurship as you can see on the screen way back we started with kind of envelope and uh, uh, inland letters if you recall postcards then the trunk dialing system started then the mobile and uh, now you see the level up to which we have reached so there has been continuously technology innovation and uh, entrepreneurs have made it possible to make our life easier so in the lineup i like to explain first of all the difference between invention and innovation invention basically it is a new thing that first time we are inventing basically and innovation the already thing is existing and there's some additional feature has been added to it so let's see uh, the actual definition of invention it says a device contrivance or process originated after study and experiment usually something which has not previously been existence invention and innovation is something new or to a change made to an existing project product idea or field so for example as we've just now seen first telephones uh, that is trunk dialing system and now we have reached up to the uh, mobile phones smartphones so this is this was an invention and uh, uh, then further if we say the first cellular telephone etc and invention or innovation and the first smartphone becomes the innovation so basically what i am trying to say that first telephone when it was uh in uh, developed way back maybe a uh, couple of uh, maybe a century back 
then it was obviously an invention and now with the continuous upgradation of the telephone system reaching up to smartphone stage is a innovation so this is what basically we talk about uh, when we uh, mention about the innovation and innovation so in the series first let's start talk about entrepreneurship so my discussion will be in two parts part 1 entrepreneurship part 2 uh, innovation and uh, in first part entrepreneurship let's talk about first of all what is entrepreneurship the all who what why how in the series we say what is entrepreneurship who is an entrepreneur why entrepreneurship is required how to become an entrepreneur and when is the right stage so in the process first question i'm trying to answering here that is what is an entrepreneurship it is simply setting up of a new business and if we wish to ask the next question who is an entrepreneur an entrepreneur is someone who has new ideas they are innovators so just now if you recall we have seen the definition between invention and innovation so please remember that entrepreneurs are innovators not inventors we are not talking about inventors when we talk about entrepreneurs entrepreneurs they are innovators means ideas already existing they have just added on new features to that so thus the invent entrepreneurs if we remember we have said setting up of a new business that means if a father had a small grocery shop son is also continuing with the same grocery shop it's not entrepreneurship it's just simply continuance of the traditional family business but when we say that there was uh, something and uh, additional feature has been added to that by someone and a new business has been set up then the person will be called entrepreneur now so we have seen here two words business persons and entrepreneurs so as i have already explained a business person person's venture is based on existing business idea means traditional business family business or any business that is being carried on but when we talk about the entrepreneur an entrepreneur comes up with a new idea is innovation so a business survives sustains and grows with new idea else it will extinguish so here lies the crux of our discussion today that just simply carrying on to an existing business like uh, you know great grandfather grandfather father son carrying on with their traditional uh, business is not an entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship is that down the chain uh, down the chain if someone comes up with a new idea then with the new idea a new venture that comes up into existence is uh, entrepreneurship and why entrepreneurship is important because a business can survive and grow and sustain it can have sustainable growth only if it has new ideas otherwise in a couple of uh, minutes later we will see many business have entered into the leaves of history books because they simply had no new idea and be just simply beating on the uh, you know uh, following the beaten track would not uh let them survive or sustain right so uh let's see some of the examples like uh, on the lines what we've discussed just now that is if you do cannot innovate you cannot survive the live example is on the screen as we can see the hindustan photo films uh hpf the company was established in 1960 and most unfortunately it was declared bankrupt in 1996 why it was declared bankrupt in 1996 because hindustan photo films simply could not see the light of the next day that is could not enter into the innovation and the people around the world had already woken up brought new insight new ideas new uh, thought process and thus the hindustan photo films was 
uh, found suddenly itself into the uh, into the, the sinking ship because there the entry was of the you know digital cameras so therefore the traditional uh, the uh, photo films which in our camera during our old days if i can recall that whenever we went from place a to place b just for you know uh, you know uh, as a as a tourist so we used to have a camera and there uh, we we used to keep watching how many films have already exhausted while taking the photographs so it used to have generally if i can recall some 35 odd uh, you know pictures could be clipped and the moment it used to reach to 27 28 then we would we used to hold a breed ki ab 6 aur isme film bachi hai photo bacha hua hai 6 photo aur bacha hua hai and next uh, somewhere we have to get this uh, uh, you know uh, film uh, removed and new film to be inserted and it can be done only in a studio where a dark uh, room is there the old film is to be taken out the new film is to be inserted now you see the inventors uh, the, the innovators they have simply made the life so easier nothing is required just a small chip and and uh, uh, your life is easy any number of photographs you can keep clicking keep deleting keep sending anywhere so hindustan photo film since could not change itself uh, or could not uh, make a pace with the changing timings it had to enter into the leaves of history uh, history books and uh, thus came 1996 hindustan photo films gates were closed of course they are still surviving to some extent in uh, in terms of providing x ray films that still uh, they are able to but a huge amount of business uh, which they used to have through uh, camera films that naturally got completely written off then next uh, we all if you could remember in good old days our prime minister uh, jawaharlal nehru or uh, subsequent prime minister they would always be seen on the uh, 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 you know television screens moving in a typical ambassador cars now i would bet for you if you can see an ambassador car even once in a year it has already been closed 2014 hindustan motors which was which uh, was uh, a factory was established in 1958 which came into existence in 1958 went into the history books again in 2014 so similar examples we see Power sector, for example, NTPC was established in 1976 or around 1975, and at that time it called itself National Thermal Power Corporation. It thought probably that this this is a natural uh, national uh, hydraulic power uh, corporation, then uh, National Thermal Power Corporation. It called itself, but then suddenly it found that it has to compete with the gas turbines. It has to uh, then. Uh, um, Uh, compete with the non conventional energy sources uh, so uh, they retained the name ntpc but ntc ntpc is no more simply limited to uh, uh, the thermal power plant or gas only or uh, it has ventured out into non conventional energy sources so uh, this is what the innovations have uh, you know ntpc has been keeping pace with the innovation and still Uh, you know surviving not only surviving but kicking off very uh, you know strongly because uh, still it maintains its position as the second largest uh, um, central government enterprise in the country uh, then revolution in postal sector likewise in postal sector as we've seen in the beginning of uh, this session starting from a postcard or an envelope or an inland we have reached to the uh, level of you know uh, um, uh, smartphone where we are connected with the entire universe 24 7 every second we are uh, to the minute second we are connected you know uh, with the entire uh, universe so imagine the postal uh, the uh, inland or uh, envelope or uh, postcard days and today's day so a huge amount of revolution has taken place uh, similar in the banking sector banking sector we used to make a long queue for withdrawing say whatever uh, you know little some under 200 rupees oh. now there is no requirement we have got wallet we have got digital payment system and almost none of us go to bank uh, unless uh, there is some uh, basic requirement 
otherwise uh, what we can foresee probably that uh, to our children or grandchildren we might have to tell the definition of you know a bank complex similarly uh, telecom sector we have seen it sector automobile sector retail sector retail has uh, uh, transitioned into almost uh, you see the e commerce sitting at home every facility every item is available to us and uh, there is a huge competition that we will provide in 10 minutes uh, or 5 minutes and likewise so here i try to give an answer about the who is an entrepreneur now i come to an uh, next uh, uh, question why entrepreneurship is required this is very very important for us to know why entrepreneurship is required because entrepreneurs create new businesses and they produce certain item which has its cascading effect or virtuous circle in the economy if an item a is produced it uh, goes into the complete cycle of uh, eco economic cycle and makes a cascading effect right so uh, if someone has just added some feature to say uh, uh, you know camera in the mobile the camera in the mobile simply may be an additional feature but camera in the mobile has made the life of the citizen across the globe in uh, in uh, many ways it has changed the complete lifestyle lifestyle means anything you just take the uh, pic and uh, send anywhere it is not simply a smartphone just uh, for communication purpose uh, one simple feature that is camera has made so much change so therefore entrepreneurs who create uh, uh, new businesses they also cause a cascading effect into the entire uh, circle of economy of the country of globe next we have the entrepreneurs add to national income obviously uh, entrepreneurs they establish new businesses and uh, uh, more employment and uh, more revenue to the state and better living standard national economy increases gdp increases next entrepreneurs also create social change for example smartphone smartphone now has connected you to the whole world earlier you were just thinking that even if you have to meet your neighbor you have to get up and go to him and obviously someone who is uh, uh, staying uh, living abroad uh, you have to really plan for years and years together now uh, even someone is uh, a person might be staying anywhere in the universe he is just a click away only so there has been a total transformation in the social lifestyle of the people across the globe then next we have the uh, entrepreneurs what they ensure is the community development for example people like bill gates and tata they have entered into the community development they have taken up the responsibility of community development if you recall bill gates has established large number of uh, you know um, welfare uh, schemes has launched large number of welfare schemes across the globe particularly in the poor countries developing countries and tata's contribution if you recall recently in uh, pandemic during the pandemic uh, ratan tata has uh, announced that had announced that he would be contributing towards the uh, prime minister's uh, uh, pandemic relief fund some uh, 1500 crores rupees so uh, it is obviously because he is an ratan tata is an entrepreneur he could afford to he could um, uh, ensure that certain amount of money is donated to the uh, further development of the community which has uh, made him to survive and thrive so uh, as a part of this uh, their uh, social responsibility uh, an entrepreneur also enters into the community business uh, community responsible uh, development responsibility now having answered the uh, question third question the why entrepreneurs entrepreneurship is required uh, let's see how to become entrepreneur if we are convinced of, uh, after having seen that who is who is an entrepreneur and how uh, entrepreneurs uh, uh, why entrepreneurship is important let's see as to how to become an entrepreneur uh, uh, this is one of the important uh, uh, you know topic of the day that if we are convinced that entrepreneurs they make a social uh, they make a change they may, they make a big transition in the country in its social structure economic structure in its lifestyle then it is worthwhile 
that uh, an entrepreneur is needed in every country who can really make contribution to the country in terms of its national economy and uh, social dynamics. And uh, uh, so that is why even India has uh, uh, taken a giant, uh, you know, step, giant stride into uh, entrepreneurial development. Now, this is also important in the view, as we've seen, that an entrepreneur provides you uh, a job opportunity, gives you employment. And obviously, no country can provide a job to its 100% population. At best, depending upon its resources available, the country can provide probably to its 40-50% of people. Remaining 40-50% people should be able to uh, uh, you know, survive uh, with the whatever national income the government is able to garner. So therefore, uh, since it is the government responsibility to look after the welfare of its people, and entrepreneur, it looks up to the entrepreneurs to uh, generate more employment, generate more uh, wealth, so that the have-nots can be taken uh, care of. So if such a pious responsibility lies on the shoulders of entrepreneurs, let's see how to become an entrepreneur. To become an entrepreneur, there are certain steps I like, I like to highlight here. The first one being uh, identify profitable startup ideas. For example, uh, a very simple thing today, what you can see, there is a corporate which requires manpower, trained manpower, skilled manpower. And there are uh, trained and skilled manpower available with the uh, you know, uh, colleges, universities in the society. So can you just do something that these two people, they meet each other? The uh, trained people, they require job, company requires uh, you know, uh, trained people. So just set up some, uh, some uh, system. And obviously, what I'm trying to hint at is develop an app which, on which both parties can come. That is the corporate who need trained manpower and the trained manpower who need corporate assistance in terms of employment, seeking employment. So this, is, this could be one way. Uh, this could be one of the profitable uh, startups you can start up as of now, as already some people have started. Then second is identify and focus on growing category which area is growing uh, in a business segment like you've seen and there is a huge amount of uh, change in terms of uh, you know it and uh, 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 computers so uh, there is tremendous amount of improvement going on uh, uh, in the areas of uh, uh, you know these two technological areas so what uh, how can you contribute how can you make a change in the, uh, in, uh, uh, in the existing business category? Maybe even automobile. In automobile, as we've seen, starting from the fossil fuel, now we are on a big way going to switch over to the e-vehicle, electric vehicle. In electric vehicle, large amount of uh, you know, uh, electrical and uh, uh, semiconductors will be needed. Uh, chips will be needed. So uh, manufacturing of chips, this could be one of the requirements in view of growing business of electric vehicles in the country, all over the globe for that matter. Because it, the fossil fuel uh, automobile based automobile industry really has become a threat to the environment uh, across the globe. So this could be one of the new area that one can uh, look up to. Then fill an underserved demand. You just find out as to what you need and can someone uh, just provide you simply that naturally will fall for it. Like, for example, the uh, during pandemic, people even refused to touch the currency. They refused, they, could, they were advised not to go to the house. So how to provide them day-to-day -day needs, grocery items in their house? So quickly, uh, companies came up with the uh, e-commerce, uh, e-retailers came up with the idea of uh, apps and uh, uh, you put in uh, uh, your demand and the uh, items will be, uh, will be supplied. And there is a huge amount of competition in this area. People are saying, now just give us 10 minutes, we'll be there at your door, uh, you know, uh, ringing the bell. Then make something better, cheaper and convenient. 
मे बी समथिंग ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग बट मे कैन यू मेक समथिंग बेटर कैन यू मेक इट चीपर कैन यू मेक इट कन्वीनियंट देन वैलिडेट यूर स्टार्ट अप आइडिया वॉट एवर आइडिया यू हैव वैलिडेटेन स्टार्ट विद मिनिमम वैबल प्रोडक्ट as to how many you should make then create a business plan and continue to iterate based on the feedback received from the project next you have ask friends your friends what frustrates them like for example if you see uber uber started in 2009 now see the big way in which it has almost captured the entire globe paytm it started very much here in noida in 2009 online exchange it was established in 2006 and uh, now it is up to the it has a, a revenue uh, a status of 2.1 billion dollar and spread about 41 plus countries the flipkart it was established in 2007 uh, walmart acquired 77% stake in 16 billion dollar Uh, a company which was started by um, our own indians n india in 2007 so these are uh, obviously they all had some new idea which people liked which served the uh, unfulfilled demand of the people and thus uh, the idea uh, uh, nurtured by them uh, flourished and a big business came into existence then identify trends to future proof your idea now for example uh, comparing hotel tariff uh, these days uh, you want to go uh, on tour to uh, you know any uh, you know domestic or international you want to find out which is the cheaper flight uh, who is providing cheaper flight who is providing cheaper accommodation who is uh, providing cheaper uh, you know uh, 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 tour facilities so just comparison itself can be one of the business or uh, tour packages providing entire tour packages that has become a big business Uh, life insurance policy health insurance policy real estate real estate till now you were just uh, seeing you know you you were required to visit now they have got a channel partner who is providing all single windows help this system in terms of all the real estate uh, projects available in a particular area of your interest and these are channel partners they have quickly encashed upon your need that you do not want to visit so many sites ask so many questions there is a channel partner available who is providing all answer to all your questions so these are some of the ideas uh, you know ask your people ask your neighbors as to what is troubling them and can you fulfill the need uh, so and uh, develop uh, a profitable business venture based on that and then next is uh, you study the uh, entire in the product category as to what in this case the area of interest of your product as to what all product categories are there in what way you can be different you remember you got to be different uh, from the crowd so therefore what are each products benefits you would like to know and then uh, how do they vary for example features of mobile phone if you just uh, imagine a mobile phone way back some uh, uh, 15 one and a half decade back if you remember we used to have nokia phone which had a hardly one and a half by one and a half inch uh, screen size then there was a need felt that can we have the larger screen and uh, then uh, there was another uh, but then uh, there used to be keyboard also if you remember small screen small keyboard uh, punch, uh, punching type system uh, pressing key type uh, system type we had nokia phone uh, some 20 years uh, 15 some 18 years ago now the re- requirement was that if you want to have a large screen then you have to there is no other answer but to remove the uh, you know uh, key, uh, the area dominated by occupied by the uh, key system so then the idea came can we have the key virtual key and now today you see it has become a reality you have the vir- virtual keypad so uh, then you went in for the higher storage capacity pixel grade fingerprint readers uh, then face unlock system uh, then uh, refresh rate system water resistance system wireless charging system then fast charging now it has come up including the foldable collapsible so uh, you know uh, wrist wearing uh, um, so all these kind of so these are the innovations you have to keep thinking as to what next can be added and if you succeed in succeed in adding the whole uh, 
globe, uh, you know, your, your business will flourish in the whole globe. Now, next is the what is their packaging and marketing strategy? You may like to know of the, uh, the existing category of goods that in which you are interested in what way you can be different. The, uh, the product design, packaging design, marketing strategy. So all anything can really add a feather to, the, uh, um, uh, to your cap and uh, can make change in the existing product. And thereby may, uh, provides you an opportunity to establish a profitable business venture. Now, then next is what are the potential improvements that uh, are possible? Then what can be done to improve it? Can I add a new feature? A feature? What about a different material? Can I personalize it sometime? Somehow? So if you see these days, number of uh, you know things quickly they personalize. Add up messaging system and they keep. These uh, you want personalized message. These are your personalized message. You want business message. These are your business message. You want transaction on details only. These are uh, instead of wading through a whole lot of you know uh, message uh, list. Uh, just by clicking a different so that means the entire messaging system has been personalized depending upon your requirement so can you do that immediately your idea will be grabbed fill an underserved demand for example post promulgation the company act 2013 the requirement of roc came and uh, requirement of auditing came so large number of cas they uh, came into existence and uh, because the uh, audit became must then uh, Post GST, tax consult consultant business started flourishing. Post demonetization, digital economy business uh, you know, uh, uh, became flourishing. Then in the uh, pandemic, current pandemic situation, if you see, quickly uh, you know, uh, people grab the opportunity of uh, you know, manufacturing masks uh, in mass scale, at mass scale, sanitizers, vaccines, medicines, oxygen cylinders, concentrators, e-commerce, everything, you know, quickly people grab the opportunity. And those who waited and waited, they simply entered into the leaves of history books. And there can be no brighter and better example than the future uh, retail, the uh, Kishore Biani led future retail uh, FRL limited, uh, simply be uh, became bankrupt because future retail limited could not see the uh, the incoming wave of e-commerce. He believed that probably being a retail king in terms of uh, brick mortar uh, businesses, uh, he can uh, probably have his uh, cake, but could not survive. And barely, uh, you see, in during the pandemic itself, the a top flourishing business went into the history book. So this is the power of change. Now, uh, so examples, some better, cheaper, convenient, these are the keywords. And there can be no better example than of the mobile phones, which has undergone right from its inception about two, two uh, you know, decades back into a dozens, rather a dozen and a half features that have been added to it. And uh, nearly a dozen changes, you know, features that have been, uh, you know, have come up in, in, in terms of uh, uh, pandemic uh, uh, necessities. Now, having seen uh, uh, the certain details about entrepreneurship, we come on to the next topic of the day, that is innovation. As in the beginning, I mentioned to you, we'll be discussing innovation and entrepreneurship. So quickly, I gave an, in, in, uh, an, uh, an uh, insight to you about what is innovation. That means you just innovate. Uh, that means you just uh, add some new feature, new feature and become an entrepreneur. So having seen entrepreneurial aspect, let's see about the innovation. How will you innovate? I repeat, as now we have seen how to become an innovate, uh, entrepreneur and all about entrepreneurial venture. Now let us see if the innovation is the key to become an uh, entrepreneur, how do we innovate? Now, this is the uh, very famous crow and picture. I don't think uh, I need to add anything to it when the thirsty crow found the water level low. Then now same way will be, I'll, I'll try to answer questions like what, why, how, when regarding innovation. Because innovation is the heart of entrepreneurship. Now let's see, uh, a couple of years back, there was, a, uh, there was an understanding uh, in the world that 
it is the leadership that can give you the best uh, uh, you know uh, that can make the corporate flourish people said it is not leadership alone probably we have to you have to go you have to become globalized you have to enter into uh, you know uh, you have to become a global business so from leadership we went to next stage of globalization but today people talk about innovation that if you can innovate you can grow and survive and if the sustainable growth can be there otherwise uh, that flame will extinguish so therefore innovation became the key word and there is a word like creativity and innovation often we talk about creativity and innovation remember creativity is the ability to solve problem but creativity doesn't always run companies whereas innovation and growth they do innovation growth and innovation they do so therefore innovation uh, as we can say innovation does not happen without creativity creativity is the base but creativity alone does not uh, you know um, cause the growth so when we talk about creative creativity and innovation uh, what it need it needs is just think outside the box go against the norms sometimes and remember if you let bureaucr bureaucracy stop creativity innovation will become the first casualty like the government even today has decided to uh, you know uh, ensure energy saving in power appliances which it never bothered so innovation requires new creation process improvement for example let me tell you there was a time i was asked to uh, you know uh, there was a booster pump required to be made operational and my people they uh, submitted a report to me that it requires 1 crore expenditure because 1 kilometer of uh, you know um, huge uh, underground uh, cable uh, had to be uh, you know installed to provide power supply to the booster pump due to paucity of time i am not able to tell you but i vividly recall that 1 crore uh, project i cancelled simply did the job in 1250 rupees 1250 rupees i spent and the booster pump started functioning this is the change we required today for which my people had uh, you know put up a project of 1 crore rupees and way back 3 uh, three decades back i'm uh, trying to recall today the cost must be something in terms of uh, you know some 20 25 crores now uh, similarly next could be energy saving area cost saving uh, various functions of smartphones for example time saving life saving like if you recall in 2013 there was a glacial burst in uttarakhand some people got uh, you know uh, um, uh, you know uh, cut off isolated in a most remote area what what saved their life was they had uh, you know smartphone quickly they took the photograph of their uh, you know area the location and flashed and sent it to the uh, their near and dear ones who immediately provided the photograph and uh, their location was traced and they could be uh, you know uh, rescued from there then cnc or for that matter 3d manufacturing these are some of the innovations now why innovation is required a beautiful de uh, you know definition i found the person who knows how will always have a job but the person who knows why will be his boss call would said so so therefore corporates will do well if they adopt the principle of thou shall not kill a new product idea thou shall ensure absolute integrity respect for individual initiative and personal growth tolerance for honest mistakes product quality and reliability our business is solving problem if these are the mantras corporate they adopt definitely it is possible like and how it can be done the corporates can institute best idea for the month nurture staff creativity notify how ideas have been implemented organize creativity festival value employ for their contribution allow cooling off and relaxation train staff for creativity skills institute a mistake of the month view the results of the creativity or encourage their staff there could be some barriers which we must remove uh, for innovation uh, that is which uh, hurdle creates hurdle in innovation these are negative attitude nahi ye to nahi ho sakta 
फॉलोइंग रूल्स नहीं रूल तो ये कहता है और एक्सेसिव स्ट्रेस ओवर स्ट्रेस पीपल देन सर्टन एग्जाम्शन देन कि नहीं ये तो इसी तरीके से होना चाहिए ये बिल्कुल फियर ऑफ फेल्योर नहीं uh, हम फेल हो जाएंगे सो वॉट फंक्शनल फिक्सेशन एंड साइकोलॉजिकल ब्लॉक्स दीज आर सम बैरियर्स एंड वन एग्जाम्पल आई है that how government of india established a war room center during pandemic which 24/7 was functional and we definitely we certainly it made us out uh, to come out of the uh, pandemic successfully and here is the last i would like you to see necessity is the mother of invention as plato said here i come to an end of my talk today thank you thanks a lot thank you dr chobe sir now i would like to invite dean rnd dr sudeep prasad sir for the vote of thanks now over to dr sudeep prasad sir okay good morning to everybody i am uh, thankful to dr k n chobe sir on behalf of i am polytechnic and also from my side for this nine nice session on innovation and entrepreneurship he has uh, particularly given the idea how to become an entrepreneur and uh, separately explain entrepreneur and innovation uh, in particular in respect of horn 3d etc and uh, i am uh, really uh, think that this is quite helpful for the listener who has a listening uh, recently uh, i am thankful to the faculty members and the Uh, most importantly students who also participated uh, uh, listen the session on innovation and entrepreneurship uh, once more i am thankful to the sir uh, dr kian chobe sir who has uh, uh, given some time for us and uh, for his busy schedules thank you sir thank you thank you sir thanks a lot sir thank you so much thanks for giving okay, this opportunity uh, thank you dr sudeep prasad sir now uh, Session is over. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you.